derive the quadratic function from the table of values. So, bago natin ma-identify yung a, b, and c ng ating quadratic function sa ating f of x is equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. Bago natin ma-identify yung a, b, and c natin at it's substitute dyan to get our quadratic function. Hanapin muna natin yung ating first difference and second difference. So, to get the first difference, from the word difference, we will subtract. So, ang pagbo-minus po ay yung mas malayong um, term dun sa nauna sa kanya. So, pag ganito po yung subtract. Okay, so we have 62 minus 37. So, this is equals to 7 minus is 5. Ay, sorry. Tama pa rin naman. 12 minus 7 is 5, and then 5 minus 3 is 2. And then we have 37 minus 18. So, we have 9, 2 minus 1 is 1. Okay, 19 and then 18 minus 5 which is 13 and 5 minus negative 2 is 8. So this is our first difference. Okay, importante po yung malaman nyo or may hindi nyo kung paano po kumuha ng first difference. And then sa second difference is this is a quadratic function. Given na po na quadratic function nito, dapat yung ating second difference ay pare-pareho. Kasi pag hindi po, mm, hindi po siya considered na quadratic function. Sa, sa pagkakatuto ko, okay? So, this time, ganun pa rin yung pagkuha. 25 minus 19, 30, ah, sorry, 19 minus 13, and 13 minus 8. Ah, what ba 8? 7 lang to, 5 plus 2. So, 25 minus 90. Okay, 6. So, definitely it will 6. And then, it will also 6. So, this is our second difference. Okay. So, bakit natin kinuha yung first and second difference? Again, kasi kailangan natin hanapin ang value ng A, B, and C. So, how to get the value of A? A is uh, the half of our second difference. So, kung ang ating, so, makukuha natin yung A, yung 1 half, ito times natin sa ating second difference, which is 6. So, 1 half times 6 is 6 over 2. That will give us 3. So, uh, that is our A. And then, B po, ay, ito ay ang um, first difference between the then sa x values so again the difference between the f of x whose values of x are between 0 and 1 respectively minus the value of a so ito yung 0 and 1 tapos yung first difference daw nung nasa ilalim na which is yung 5 minus negative 2 ay ito, which will give us 7. So, yun daw, ito, babuhasan natin nung nakuha natin A. So, which will give us 7 minus 3 is 4. Okay, and then C is kung ano lang yung katapat ng 0. 0 yung x, and then, ano yung nasa ilalim na na f of x. So, kumbaga parang f of 0. So, nabi yung 0, and then yung nasa baba nun, negative 2. So, that is how you will get the value of a, b, and c, and then isa substitute na lang natin. So, our final answer there is 
f of x is equals to, ano yung a natin, which is 3, and then lagay lang natin x squared, plus 4, and then x minus 2. So, this is our quadratic function, given that table. Another example, deriving the quadratic function, given the table of values, Sorry, hindi ko pala nagsusulat yung value for f of x. By the way, this uh, way of finding the derive uh, or deriving the quadratic function using the or given the table of values ay ginagamit lang kapag ang ating value for x ay consecutively lang. So, kapag hindi po consecutively, iba rin po yung ating formula in finding our a, b, and c. But somehow, may pagkakapareho din naman. But, ito po ang aking ipapaliwanag or bibigyan kayo ng example. Okay. So, again, uh, we need to find the first and second difference. Pero ako, paano ko ba ito ginagawa kaysa kanina dahil sobrang dami ng minus mo? Um, ang ginagawa ko dyan ay, ang ginagamit ko lang yung merong 0, 1, and 2, or pwede din namang negative 1, 0, and 1. Basta dapat, it's either nasa huling dalawa, kasi tatlo lang yung kailangan ko, nasa huling dalawa yung 0, 1, o or nasa unahan yung 0, 1 na yun. So, pwedeng ito yung gagamitin kung ito, or which is ito. Pero, napag-isip-isip ko yung negative 1, 0, 1, 2 na lang yung gagamitin ko. Kasi, masyadong nakaas yung 20. Okay? Ayan. So, ganun pa rin. Kung paghanap ng first difference, so, pag ganun, and then, we have 6 minus negative 3, and negative 3 minus negative 4. And then, this will give us 6 plus 3, which is 9, and then, ito ay negative 1. Oh, sorry. Positive 1. So, that's yung 4. Ayan. And then, this is my first difference. And then, yung kapag second difference na. So, this is the second difference. And then, ang ginagawa ko po, if you remember yung sa letter B, yung the difference between F of x, whose values of x are between 0 and 1, respectively. Ito yon. Ang lagi kong ginagawa dyan, ay, sorry, yung 0 and 1, rather, binabox ko yun. Binabox ko po. Kasi, yun yung gagamitin ko mamaya in getting the letter B. And since we have our first difference and second difference, na kung saan binax ko na yung difference between the f of x whose values of x are between 0 and 1, so ito yung 0, ito yung 1, yung nasa baba nila, yung pinag-minus na yan, yun yun, yun yun yung binabanggit na difference between f of x whose values of x are between 0 and 1. So, hanapin muna natin what is a, a ay kalahati daw ng ating second difference. Eh, ang ating second difference is 8. So, we have 8 over 2, which will give us 6. Okay, B is equals to, ito na po yun, yung binax ko na ito, na nasa first difference, yung difference between f of x, ito nga po yun, whose values of x are between 0 and 1. Sorry kung paulit ulit. Ito po yun. And yung nasa baba po nila, pag mayroon sa po yun, yung sabot po na yun, ang mamainus na natin ang nakuha namin A, which is 6. And then you see, again, ito yung pinakamadali kasi yung pinakababa, ito yung 0 ng x, di ba? Yung nasa baba, negative 2. 
Yan na yung matrix C. And then, sa substitute na lang natin sa f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So, f of x is equals to yung a na nakuha natin na yung 6. So, we have 6x squared plus nakuha natin b is 3x and then minus 3 kasi negative 3 to. Para ma-sure nyo kahit i-substitute nyo to sa values ng x. And then, yung magiging sagot ay yung nasa f of x. So, that is how you get or derive the quadratic function given the table of values.